Josh, how do you feel like the offensive line has looked throughout camp and how it's progressed throughout? Mm, I think we've definitely made uh, some pretty big strides uh, since day one. Um, definitely a lot of things we can improve on, like always, uh, after every practice. Um, but I think as a whole, uh, Coach Carter's done a pretty good job at setting the uh, tone and uh, the mindset, you know, what it takes to play offensive line. Uh, you got to be gritty, so uh, he definitely sets the tone with that, and I think we definitely made strides. So how did you think the offense performed in the joint practice with the Panthers? Mm -hmm. I think we definitely could have uh, played a lot better than we, than we did yesterday. Um, first joint practice against, you know, a different team, different type of scheme we've been going against all uh, camp. Um, I think almost kind of slowed us down a bit, but like I said, you know, we, we uh, go back in the field room, make those corrections, it'll be straight coming out for the next practice or next game, whatever it is. Yeah. We were talking to Sala earlier, and he said the best five are going to play, mm -hmm. and he didn't rule out the possibility of moving you to tackle mm -hmm. in the event that, you know, that becomes the best five. So yeah. how, obviously you've done it before. How would you feel about becoming like a full-time tackle? Mm -hmm. I mean, y'all know me. I've said it plenty of times y'all before. I mean, I'm going to play wherever uh, the team needs me to play, you know, wherever they think I'd fit best uh, on this offensive line. Uh, so whether that's guard or tackle, it really don't matter to me. I'm going to go out there and, uh, you know, do my thing to the fullest. Um, so, yeah, I mean, right now, I mean, everything's pretty set. But, I mean, like last year, you know, things could change in a heartbeat. Do you do anything, Elijah, like to cross-train to, to play tackle? I remember last year when it happened, you had said you've been working on it for a few weeks before yeah. that happened. So mm -hmm. do, you, do you do stuff to prepare for that in case it happens? Yeah, I mean, right now, no, um, just because I'm, you know, primarily a, primarily a right guard, so I'm focused on that for right now. Um, but in the offseason, I mean, I try to work everywhere, you know, right, left guard, uh, right tackle, stuff like that. So in the offseason, yeah, but right now, primarily a guard. So what do you do during the offseason to try to prepare for a possibility mm -hmm. of playing tackle? I just take sets, um, different drive blocks, you know, out of uh, each position, really. You know, during my conditioning is really going from right guard, left guard, right tackle. Like I said, just taking sets and striding out like, 10, 20 plus yards. That's pretty much it. Would you need time if they did decide to do that to get ready to do that? Or you haven't had it in the past, I know. It, yeah. You know, here in <laughs> USC, right? Yeah, I mean, it would help uh, <laughs> definitely have time. I'm pretty sure anybody would, would appreciate the time. Um, but I mean, you know, if something bad goes down, I mean, knock on wood, you know, nothing ever happens. Um, but I feel like, you know, I could go out there and and uh, perform at a high level. What's it like having a different guy next to you a lot in, in camp with, you know, they're, they're rotating Billy and Max yeah. a lot? Mm -hmm. I think it's good, honestly, for the O-line. Um, I think, you know, it's good for Max and Billy to get reps at each side because um, you never know what could happen. And I think for me, it just helps me um, learn how to communicate, you know, to each individual, you know. When you're playing next to someone for so long, you kind of have that um, role or, or you're used to how you communicate with that certain person. So when you switch it up, you know, it just takes a little bit of thinking and stuff like that. So it's, it's good. So how do you feel like Makai has been progressing, like from his knee injury? Yeah, I think he's been uh, definitely making some strides so far in camp, uh, especially from day one, um, taking more reps, you know, and stuff like that. And uh, I mean, I, I talk to him every day, you know, every day he says it's getting a little better each day. And I think for him, it's just getting comfortable and uh, knowing that he has to, you know, feel comfortable in order to go out there and perform. Mark Knox, what do you think of your car ride? Car Knox? Oh, that was uh, one Jets. Yes. Oh, what was one Jet? Okay, yeah, yeah, what do yeah. you think of that? It was cool, man. I mean, I always uh, like a little spotlight, you know, not, not a lot of offensive linemen get that. Uh, so it was cool. Um, you know, just a smooth little ride to the hotel, nothing crazy. But yeah. Thanks. 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 Appreciate y'all. As always, at this point in time, nobody ready to play yeah. on any team right now. You're still building, so I think that's where we're at. What do you feel like you need to work on at this point? Uh, just all-around game from everybody. You know, just um, working in the fundamentals, not taking nothing for granted. You know, learning how to process, process information and move on to the next snap. So how important is next week's joint practice against Tampa uh, since you believe you have so much to work on? Uh, man, it's all important. I mean, all these practices are important. We don't take nothing lightly. So, uh, you know, we're just going to keep sharpening an iron and try to get better. Uh, what's your what's your process for studying the playbook? What, what, how do you go about it? Do you slash cards, memorization, straight memorization? How do you, do you um, I do better by visuals, so walking through, um, extra time, just walking through the plays, make sure I know 
what's going on, even though what's going on, if, if a play totally breaks down, you know, what's kind of emergency situations, emergency calls, you know, oh shit, what we do now type situations, stuff like that. How, when we talked to you a few weeks ago, you talked about this defense being new to you, kind of a new style. How has the adjustment gone to you being, you know, attacking style of defense? Oh, it's going good. It's going real good. Um, just had to kind of empty my brain of 13 years of one thing, so uh, it's definitely fun. So that hadn't, had, hadn't changed, but uh, I'm enjoying it. Cool. Hi. How are you doing? Good. How do you feel the offensive lines come together in the last couple of days? Uh, we're making strides. There's definitely progress being made. There's a, a lot of new stuff going in that a lot of guys on the offensive line have never done before. So you're going to have some growing pains. But all in all, we're definitely making some strides. You've got to be better, of course, as we always do. But there's progress being made. When you switch from left to right tackle, what's the biggest adjustment you have to face? Everything's an adjustment. Uh, uh, Josh Sitton once said, it's like wiping your ass with your off hand, you know? <laughs> uh, from your feet to your hips to your hands to your head, everything is completely different. Everything is the complete opposite. So, you know, all in all, the game is different from right to left. It's the same technique. You just got to figure out how to switch things around in your brain. Scheme-wise, it's probably easier for you because you've played with, with Hackett. So it, does that make the transition easier? Uh, scheme is very similar, if not the same, yes. But uh, different techniques are put into play with different offensive line coaches and different position coaches. What, it, what is it like uh, being here blocking Aaron Rodgers in a different uniform? Uh, it's very similar. Um, <laughs> You know, but it's it's fun at the same time. You know, he brings a lot of a lot of juice, a lot of energy. I have a lot of good talks with him about things that don't involve football, and you know, that's a, a lot of the good things that it brings. It's a lot of good energy that I think these guys on this team have yet to you know fully see from him, especially when we get into the season. You know, how much energy, how much juice, and how much poise he shows on the field at all times. You notice anything different about Aaron? It seems like he's really like enjoying this opportunity with the Jets right now. He's having fun, man. I mean, shit. If you were in the same place for 20 years and got the switch too, I mean, it's a different, uh, it's a different feeling, man. You know, and not to say that he didn't have a good time in Green Bay, because you know he definitely did. We had a good time in Green Bay. But again, sometimes you need to change the scenery, and you know, when certain things happen like that, it brings forth a lot of new growth and opportunity for things that you've never done before. Hey, what's your sense in how this team will handle the extra attention and the spotlight that has been going on all our season and build into the season? This is the New York Jets, man. This is New York City. No one's worried about any extra attention. This is one of the biggest, if not the biggest, markets in the world. So there is no extra attention as far as we're concerned in the locker room. Did you get a chance to see Hard Knocks the first episode? And what were your thoughts? No. Is there any adjustment because of that? We got cameras around. No. You talk about no extra attention. No. You had no interest in watching Hard Knocks. Uh, no, I got other things to do. How um, how big a factor really was was Hackett's presence here and you signing here? Uh, definitely played a part in it. Um, Hackett is a great person. He's one of my great time friends that on and off the field will always be someone in my life. But aside from that, it was more so the opportunity to come and play football again and to come to a team that had a championship mentality and had the pieces in place to go out and win immediately. What's been your uh, impression of Makai since you've gotten here? He's a good kid. I like Makai. He's very eager to learn. Uh, he's very, very talented. He's a giant for one. but. Um, I think he's going to be a, a great player. He has all the attributes, all the pieces in place to be a great left tackle in this league. We haven't had a chance to talk to you, so I'll ask just what the Sean Payton comments. You know, obviously you're close to Hackett. I'm wondering how you reacted to that. You saw how I reacted. I Next did. question. I didn't. Sorry. What's the reason they're switching you guys from left to right and back and forth as far as you and Max Mitchell? I have no idea, but. As far as I'm concerned, it's what's going to help this football team win games. So it is what it is. I have no concern in that. How so much is no theory behind it? Like maybe to prepare someone to be a backup swing or something? I have no idea. How much are Did you, you and more how more much more? are you and Max kind of pushing each other? Because I know you guys are both fighting to start for this team. You know? 
to be honest with you, being in this league for 10 years, I'm not thinking about pushing another person. I'm thinking about the things that I need to do to get better. And me focusing on those things is naturally going to push the person to my right and left, in front of me, behind me, et cetera, to get better. You know, you don't show up with a mentality with someone in your room who is your brother and talk shit to him and, you know, so on. Yep. In terms of that, it's more so just show up, focus on what you need to focus on and get better in the areas that you need to get better on. And naturally, that is going to push the competition. Do you have a preference, Billy, right or left? Uh, no, I have no preference. Everybody good? Thank you, everybody. Thanks, Billy. Just how did you think the joint practice with the Panthers win on Wednesday? It was good. It was smooth. Uh, the first period, I felt like they got after us during the seven on. Then after that, we brought it up as a defense. And yeah, we started turning up after that. BE, my dog got the pick six. He set the tone for the practice. And then after that, TA got a forced fumble. So we started balling after that, I felt like. It sounded like, you felt like y'all was excited like when that pick happened. Like I know Sauce was excited. I saw some excitement from you too as well. Oh yeah, anytime you get a pick, especially a pick six, that's probably the best playing football. So I mean, uh, it was, the way he played it was super cold. Like he wasn't supposed to do that for real, for real, but he just made a play. So um, yeah, that was definitely a cool play from BE. DJ, what, you mentioned Adams. What have you seen from him so far? And how are you surprised for a guy who's only played really one year to come this far? Yeah, TA, that's my dog, man. We call it, we young and turnt, man. We young and turnt. That's like our, our DB slogan for this year is young and turnt. But um, just the energy he brings, and not just the energy, it's like he bring that energy, but he's also showing how he's playing. Um, definitely motivates me when I see him out there. Like he make a play, he gonna swag, he gonna let you know about it. And on top of that, we're gonna be handshake ready. But um, yeah, he's making plays every day. And um, it's his work ethic for real, for real. Like before practice, during practice, and even post practice, like he was just out there. So I mean, TA's a dog. Like just the way he approaches everything, walkthroughs, the way he approaches lifting weights in the weight room, like he takes everything seriously. He's a real professional. How much fun is it to see somebody make that jump? Um, it's pretty cool, but um, he's always been like that as far as like his mindset and stuff. Like last year he was coming in ready, but he was a rookie, so he had a lot more to learn. You know, he learned a lot from obviously his rookie year, so he just brought that into this year, but he always had the mindset to he always had that grit about him, like when he first came in undrafted as a rookie. You said young and turnt. Like, was that something you came up with? Nah, or? that's what TA, TA and Sauce, I want to say TA came up with it, Sauce ran with it, and I ran with it. It's young and turnt. Like, we young and we turnt. Like, swagging up, handshake ready, strapping stuff. Like, that's just what we're going to do. What do you think the potential upside is for the sec secondary as a whole? I think it's going to be great. You know what I mean? I think it's going to be, you know, our goal is to be the best. Um, everybody go in that room is to be the best. And uh, obviously, we talk about the secondary, but it really starts up front with the D-line. Like, O-line, D-line, the trenches get everybody going. So our D-line, I love our D-line room. We got a lot of dogs. And that's what, you know, they allow us to make plays and vice versa. We saw what Sauce was able to do last year. Just what have you seen from him that makes you think he's ready to even take even a bigger leap this year? Yeah, man. It's the same old, same old. You're sticking in coverage, strapping stuff, you know, talking his talk, swagging. You got that swag about him. And then also, he's put on like a little bit more muscle. So like just in the tackling game, gonna be ready to make tackles like when crunch plays happen. But um, you know, he's definitely took it up a notch. You know, he's got a chef, so he's like working more on his body and stuff. So this is gonna be up from here. What's it been like battling with Aaron in practice? And now you got a pass break up there today. Like how, 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 how play to play, like how much does that make you better? It is making me a lot better. Cause first of all, first of all, I, you know, since my whole career playing corner, I ain't really been tried like that. Like getting deep balls at practice really ain't really got none until this year. Even last year, like I only got probably like, I don't know, three, four deep balls at practice the whole camp. This year, I probably got about 12, 12 <laughs> go balls, 12 to 14 go balls. So I'm getting better at that. Just working on like my locating lean, getting those reps, plaster reps. And just, you know, he knows what formation, I mean, what defense we playing. So really the, the offense is going to have the advantage if they know what we're in. So I'm getting routes that are, you know, hard routes to, to cover like that race route and man. So it's definitely making me better. Yeah, they know what they know what we in. So they're going to run runaways and stuff. So it's definitely a challenge. You let them hear it when you win though? Man, I don't really talk to A-Rod. That's my dog. Like, I don't really talk <laughs> on the field like that. So like, 
when we got to do push-ups and stuff, that's when I talk to them. We've been doing all the push-ups, though, so it ain't been that much talking. But, yeah, on the field, I don't really talk to A-Rod like that, to be honest. Did you watch Hard Knocks? I did. What you think? It was lit, bro. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> like, the way they kind of, like, did everything, it really, like, kept your attention, like, on the screen. They did a good job of, like, just keeping you in tune. I didn't even – so we didn't have HBO. I, I, don't, I don't have HBO, so I had my girl download it. She did all of it, and she was just FaceTiming me because I was in a hotel. So I was in a hotel, yeah. We just got Netflix on the TV, so so she was just FaceTiming me, and when her hands started getting tired, I'm like, whoa, 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 like, like straight, straighten the camera back up. But like, So I watched it like that, but it was cool, though. Like I was like, dang, they did a good job. But I got to probably rewatch it because, yeah, I didn't get everything. Sometimes she was pausing it because she wanted to text or – you know, be on her phone. <laughs> so like, I gotta like sit down and really watch it though. But I definitely, I definitely seen it. Sauce showing off his arms on hard knocks. See, so. see, I didn't see. I, I seen him like when they was at the uh, Hall of Fame game. Him and Aaron. I didn't see him. He was flexing. Yeah, wasn't he? Sauce. Yeah, so on the sideline. The side line, we pulled the show. He was flexing. Oh yeah, I think head. I seen that, but yeah. I probably didn't hear it. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah, I, I probably seen that though. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, right, thanks DJ. Thank no you. problem. Thank no you. problem.